Okay, we're in Microsoft Excel and we want to create multi-level dependent drop-down lists. So I want to do this based on my product list where I have category, subcategory and type. Now at the moment, this data isn't sorted and we would need it to be sorted to achieve our goal. Now, rather than sorting the original product list, I'm going to create a sorted version of it. That way, when I add new products, to the end of the original product list, I don't have to worry about resorting it. Now this data is housed in a table and I've called the table T. So to sort the data, we can use the sort function and our array will be the whole of the table. So I just click up in the top left hand corner of the table and we want to sort it first by category, then subcategory and then type. So to sort by multiple sort indexes, put the sort indexes within brace brackets. So one, comma, two, comma, three. And then if I close the bracket for sort, it will sort in ascending order based on those three columns. Now I actually want three separate spilled arrays for the method that I'm going to use. Now to achieve this, we're going to use choose coals. And within choose coals, I can specify which column I want to return from this sort array. So in the first instance, it's column one. And then if I copy that across, I can just change the column number to two and then three. So the next step is to get the drop downs for the category. That's relatively easy. If I select all those cells, go to the data tab on the ribbon, Go to data validation, allow a list, and the source is going to be E4 hash. And if I click on OK, that gives me the drop down for the main category. Let's just choose a category for each of these. So for subcategory, if the category is fruit, I want to return these values. So somehow I need to return that range. And we can do that with the take and drop functions. So equals take returns rows or columns from array start or end. So if the category is fruit, I would want to return initially from F4 down to F12. Obviously that includes the dairy items as well, but we'll drop those later on. So my array is column F. Now rows, I can calculate using X match. And I'm looking for the position of fruit, essentially, in column E. My lookup array is E4 hash. And I want to return the position of the last occurrence of the word fruit. And to do that, I skip over match mode. And in search mode, I choose search last first. Now if I close the bracket for X match and then take, you can see it's returning all of these subcategories down to the last occurrence of fruit in column E. Now I want to drop the dairy subcategories. To do that, I can use the drop function. Now the array is returned by take and I want to drop the first three items essentially. And I can do that by calculating the position of the first occurrence of fruit. And again, I'll use X match to achieve that. And this time I'm returning the position of the first occurrence of fruit. So I can just close the bracket there. Now you can see the first occurrence of fruit is four, but I only want to drop the first three. So minus one at the end there. Close the bracket for drop, press enter, and you'll see I get those subcategories for fruit. Now I do need to lock some of these references. So F4 needs to be locked and so does E4 and so does E4 there. So this formula here can now be used as the formula for our data validation. So I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna select all these cells in the subcategory column, go up to my data validation button, allow list, paste that formula into the source box, click on okay and I now have the relevant items within the subcategory column. Now the formula for type 
is very similar to what we've already done here. All I need to do is change these cell references. So F4 would become G4, J4 would become K4, E4 becomes F4, J4 is K4, and E4 is F4. So again, I can copy this formula, select these cells, go to the data validation button, allow a list, paste the formula into the source box, click on OK. And now I have the drop down for type as well as subcategory. Now, what happens if I add a new item to my product list? Will it automatically update these drop downs? Let's give it a go. So I'll create a new cheese. I'll have red Leicester. And this drop down now shows that new cheese. 